Um, oh, should not have exited out of that. So we're starting this. And our objective is to achieve a monthly profit from food, and drink, and merchandise sales of at least 1,000. I did not see how I could beat that uh, level with just two spaces. That seems insane. I mean, I'm trying to think of how you would do that. Would it even be a roller coaster? Or are you talking about the uh, like the corkscrew coaster? That you kind of just like launches halfway up a corkscrew and comes back into the station. Yeah, I don't even know how you would be able to do that. I would have to look that up. But as you can see with this uh, scenario, we are starting off with uh, a small, well, just a small shopping center and a bunch of open land. So the first thing we need to do is we need to build rides to attract more people to get them into the shops. Uh, so I'm going to unpause it here and roller coasters. What do we have? Okay, we've got the typical early game selection. Uh, I mean, I don't want to keep building Mango Muncher every session. But this scenario is pretty easy, so I'll build uh, Ladybug Migration. It's one of my own design. Uh, it's not the best stat-wise. But it's alright, you know what, whatever. I can do what I want. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, okay, this one. Oh, bathroom. I don't like charging for bathrooms. It just feels way too scummy. Like, the, the umbrella hack is already, or not, not hack, but, like, the umbrella uh, gimmick is already kind of pushing it for me. And so having, uh, doing that, I, that, that, that might be too much for me. I want to try to beat the games, like, somewhat legitimately. I don't know, I mean, like, charging for bathrooms is fine and stuff. I don't know, it's just, like, the real-world connotations, you know? All right, come on. Uh, let me get set up first, and then I'll go over the layout for Ladybug Migration. Yeah, one cool thing about Open Roller Coaster, uh, well, Open RCT2, is that they added kind of like a few, they added a few blocks to some coasters. Like launchers on uh, Junior Coasters. That's pretty cool. But first off, uh, yeah, we're going to place that right there. And basically, we try to build up enough people that once it rains, they'll buy umbrellas and we win. And once we achieve that, it gets pretty easy. I mean, it it is easy. We just win. Uh, I'll put a bathroom right here. I'll put a bathroom, like, right here. Okay, I just don't have to worry about it. Uh, yes, okay. I forgot if this was one that you charge for the entrance or ride, but... Woo, oh, that was fast. Charge for the ride, which makes it so much easier. Not quite. We'll fast forward, see if we can get anybody. Uh, okay. What if... There we go. Manipulate the AI a little bit, get them in the, uh, the queue. Give me money. Oh yeah, and then we can cover... That. Nice, right there.
Any easy tips for, for beginners? Uh, d oh wait, we're raining. It's raining right now. Is this gonna get? Uh, so the umbrella cheese. I'll pause it for right now. The uh, umbrella, basically, you can charge the maximum price, which is twenty dollars. You can't go higher than that. Uh, and then because when it's raining, guests will buy umbrellas for any price. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 was my first game, so you can definitely start with it. I loved it all the same. As far as easy tips for beginners, definitely start with Crazy Castle and Electric Fields. Uh, and don't necessarily worry about passing the scenarios uh, as your first go. Uh, mainly just get used to kind of, uh, the ins and outs of operating your park. Yeah, dude, I, I skipped Amity Airfields. I remember trying to play that one as a kid and I just lost every single time. That is, no, that is not, it, the difficulty curve is kind of all over the place, but, uh, Electric Fields and... Crazy Castle are definitely the two easiest ones. I would definitely start there. Uh, Factory Capers is the only other beginning scenario. Uh, and that one, you have to charge charges uh, an entry fee instead of rides. Rides are free. And for those, I always find them to be a bit more challenging to get started. We just passed this already. Nope, we did not pass this already. That's what I've heard. I have I've actually never played the original roller uh, uh oh, I need handyman. I've actually never played the original roller coaster tycoon. Uh I probably should. Actually, if I did that, I probably would have. Uh, I was I was not expecting it to rain that early on. That's the earliest I've ever had it rain. So let me place down some handymen, and then I'll put like more kiosks and stuff, and then we can easily get it, easily complete the scenario next time it rains. Uh, one of the things that I did when I first started playing, this was probably when I was less than 10 years old, I didn't know what mechanics did, and I just thought that when a ride broke down, you had to delete it and rebuild it. I haven't played Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic either. Honestly, whenever I get the Roller Coaster Tycoon urge, I just, I just play RCT2 Open. Yeah, my dad had to tell me, like, hey, hire mechanics. You don't have to delete and rebuild the rides. That's such a waste of money. As far as I know, I think Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is all... Uh, well, I guess I'd say, like, original scenarios, but, like, original as in only on Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, not, like, from the original game. Yeah, I don't know if I'm on my phone enough to justify classic, but if I'm ever, if I'm ever in a spot where I'm just, like, bored out of my mind at a job, a future job or something. Yeah. I've got this. I want another coaster so I can start getting some more money. Uh, mini roller coasters are decently cheap. I think Crazy Cabs is the best one, but even then, uh, you do have to spend some more money getting paths down because the uh, station is kind of up there. Well, it's not that up there. This. Uh, 
Okay, I guess we'll just sit here. Come on, I just need a couple hundred. Yeah, classic on a phone seems like... Yeah, now that you mention it, it might be <laughs> a little crowded. UI might be a little too crowded. Come on, give me the money. As long as you stay away from the newer installments of Roller Coaster Tycoon, besides Classic. I think Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 was... I played a lot of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 as well. Anything past that I don't think is worth it. I guess I could borrow money, but it just... Ah, am I gonna be for I'm like, I'm so close. I don't want to borrow like a thousand dollars just for this, but then I guess I need it for paths and stuff. Okay, fine. Borrow a couple. Where was I? I was here. Not fast forwarding. The... Might be a little awkward. I can't have it to be. I can't have it too long. These definitely don't have a good uh, guest capacity. Oh, thank you for the follow, a cup of Joe. Some benches, that way if they want to throw up, it's not on my paths. They can just sit down and not be nauseous. Uh, for I'll charge 450. Open it up. Probably, yeah. Kiosk right there. Uh, kiosk right there. The next time it rains, that's probably game right there. I'm actually a little concerned that this... You, yeah, that queue is going to be way too long. We'll see how that bumps up. Yeah, it's still, it's still climbing. Oh yeah, they should be. I think I checked that. Yep, we're good to go. Thank you, though. I mean, I think on my Factory Capers playthrough, I forgot to put an exit path on <laughs> one of my coasters. So I just had a bunch of people would just fall out of the exit and then just, you know, roam around, lost. Okay, I'm going to put another handyman here. This is ridiculous. Come on. Uh, if... Oh, yeah, so... You can check right here on uh, this tab right here. It says queue time five minutes. Generally, the highest I'll allow it to be is eight minutes. Anything higher than eight minutes and guests start to get grumpy. Uh, they'll start thinking if you like click on a guest and click the thought tab. They'll start thinking like, wow, I've been queuing for this ride for ages. And then it'll bring down the park rating. And then the lower your park rating, the lower... Uh, Basically, just the lower amount of guests you'll get in your park. I guess I need trash cans. Let's see, there we go. Uh, hello, Atrocious Deco. I think Atrocious Deco. I think that's it. <laughs> hello, welcome. Why are my handymen? Where are my handymen? They're just not. 
are you? What are you doing? Get over here. Ugh, okay. I'm doing well. How are you doing? Yeah, that's also true. Uh, yeah, insert joke here. That's okay. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, the park... It, the objective is to achieve a monthly profit from food, drink, and merchandise sales of at least $1,000. And so basically, I'm building rides uh, to get more people in, and then once we wait for it to rain... Uh, this is the cheatiest thing I'll generally do in my uh, playthroughs and whatnot, is uh, setting the umbrella price to max, because once it's raining... Yes, we'll buy the umbrella for any price. And so if we set it to max price, they'll just you get a lot of money from umbrellas. And so once it rains, we basically just win. Yeah, in the beginning game, I'll try to uh, organize my handyman that way I don't have to have as many and I can, you know, save a bit of money not on staff wages. I think I forgot to have one for up here. Are you in charge of this area? Kind of. Okay, whatever. Disregard what I just said. I'm adding a handyman. <laughs> just okay. Nope, not on the grounds. There. Thank you. We're doing okay. I mean, we don't have a lot of money, but we're doing okay. I did. Thank you. Now, I am very forgetful, so I do not mind uh, reminders. And I just got done with uh, Botany Breakers, and this will this will be my last scenario for the day. Uh, I'll, I'll upload stuff, uh, playthroughs on YouTube. Right now, uh, same channel name. I've got uh, my playthrough of Crazy Castle online. Electric Fields is going up later today. Then I'll probably put up Factory Capers and Botany Breakers over the next few days. I appreciate everyone being here. This is nice. And yeah, we're just chilling, playing some Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Great game. Maybe we'll start thinking about. I completely forgot about a mechanic. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, at least I can just hire a mechanic and it's not old me just deleting the ride and rebuilding it. Oh, it's fine now. It's fine. Look, it's fine. It's fixed. No harm, no foul. If it's one thing I really appreciate about RCT Open... Oh, this is it. We got rain. Um, buy those umbrellas. How did we do? Cops. <laughs> yeah, we went... Okay, yeah, we crushed that objective. Went from 400 to almost 3,000. Did I change it for this one? But yeah, this is good. That's game. That's it. So we just gotta wait for the month to end. If it's one thing I really do appreciate about uh, open is the fast forward button. I think there was only uh, you could only fast forward up to twice the normal speed for the original, and now you can go really fast. I mean, the rain was gonna come uh, eventually. But yeah, beaten in one year, that's not bad. I could have beaten this, like, in the first month, you know, if I if I had remembered to place more kiosks. 